Fox Carolina First Alert Weather Day update. Well, not since Zeta have we had our entire area in a tropical storm watch, meaning that tropical storm force winds sustained winds at 40 miles per hour are possible all across our area, and that's why we're under that watch. It's Thursday night into Friday morning as Helene gets closer, but currently we're dealing with rain that is actually not related to the actual hurricane. We're just getting some moisture out of the Gulf, feeding a frontal boundary. We've got some very heavy rain coming down over northern Oconee County up to Cashers. This is going to be really the big zone for rainfall over the next 48 hours. Now it's all the Helene is going to be with aggravating the situation. A category one hurricane. It is really kind of threading the needle here through into the Gulf. So it's not really interacting with land and it's going to be moving up toward Florida. So you can see it makes landfall as a category three Thursday evening. By then we'll start to get some serious rain out of it. And then the wind picks up as it moves by as a tropical storm Friday morning. Now it's going to hook and move over and get absorbed by an area of low pressure in Arkansas. But as it does all of this, we are looking at some big rain totals in this zone from Asheville, Hendersonville down to those areas seeing that heavy rain eight to 10 inches easily. We could see locally higher amounts than that five to seven inches for Anderson, Greenville and Spartanburg. And when it comes to wind gusts, we're going to notice the wind starting to pick up into the Friday night and then notice at 45, excuse me, Thursday night and Friday morning. And then Friday around 9 a.m., look at these gusts, 53 mile an hour gusts there in Spartanburg, 45 in Greenville. All of us have that chance for have some gusts that could knock over trees, cause power outages. But the good news is it improves very quickly so that by Friday evening, we're looking at just general winds that shouldn't be a big problem. So looking ahead to tomorrow morning, decent chance for rain temperatures in the upper 60s. Let me show you that hour by hour here through the rest of this evening. We're going to be starting to clear out slowly. Uh, we'll see a little lull overnight before we start to get some heavier rain toward 5 a.m. And notice that rain. It just stays persistent into Thursday morning. Uh, we'll start to actually get some outer bands of rain from Helene as we get toward Thursday afternoon and then get a bit of a break in the upstate Thursday evening before before the rain filters back in overnight. This is 1 a.m. Friday, and then here's the main event. 6 a.m. Friday, heavy rain, strong wind, and here it is, 9 a.m. starting to shift north, and then by about noon, we're done with any significant rainfall, and the wind will be settling down. Then we'll be on our way to cleaning up. So looking ahead, we've got first alert weather days tomorrow and Friday. This weekend looks to be mostly dry uh, as we'll be dealing with temperatures in the upper 70s and a slight chance of rain into next week, but no big systems heading our way. Our main focus at this point Thursday into Friday in the mountains. We've got first alert weather days, the potential for landslides and the uh, excessive flooding in spots, especially in Transylvania County. If you live near the French Broad River as well, watch for those river levels will be letting you know if it gets to that point of danger and then things will start to clear on up as we get into this weekend thankfully.